Hi guys, until now most of electric unicycles had the case design. It's plastic shell that contain batteries and uh, motherboard controller and uh, a motor in itself with um, pedal hangers. So if you want to replace the tire, you have to take out the motor from, from the case. Now, it's all started in 2021. It's a revolutionary. suspension modular solution the suspension and uh, separate batteries this is how it looks now you have different solutions suspension on the back and the uh, motherboard enclosure in the front some some factories do suspension in the middle like in motion or leaper kim but this is how it looks it's really easy to maintain easy to replace a tire of course it's more complicated because of suspension it's more kind of motorcycle he has a um, old line. Uh, it's all started with uh, S18 from Kingston, uh, V11, then Hero, Master, S22, and S20. What I have tested out and try to. gain some experience on these wheels it's all amazing machines of course suspension gives you another dimension this gives you another kind of riding style Here was the line. I put it on on the mirror. Under the line, you have all bigoted wheels, and uh, over it's uh, the competition. It's all started with this 18 and V11. It was interesting to see different solutions for suspension on s18 you has um, two chambers huge suspension links on the back plus it was a lot of casing around plastic casing still that cover everything now just on this one i use um, silicon compound so I don't even need a casing for uh, motherboard. On V11, everything is very uh, hide hide it inside. Motherboard is well protected. Uh, it's still a lot of casing around and um, suspension is in the middle. Uh, you need refill air on the top and under so it's more complicated wheel it's very difficult to to replace tire and to maintain v11 then uh, we got 
hero. It's, it was still a lot of casing around us on uh, competition, but it was more potent, really. You know, it's supposed to be body. First, big body is actually not the first. First was the EX, the, uh, this kind of Rolls Royce suspension. <coughs> then came Hero. It's more agile wheel for off road. Um, Clipping and jumping. EX was kind of cruiser with um, very gentle suspension, very sturdy kind of cruiser. Then we got EX2S, ES20, S20, S22 from from Kingston kind of revolutionary view as well very robust huge wheel huge suspension you see the links it's uh, it's like five times bigger than than uh, masters or actually master hero all big body wheels has kind of small chamber, easy to adjust, the feelable chamber for air. Um, S2022 has suspension without refill, so you can just adjust the blue button on the top that make it softer, harder, and the red one down that uh, adjust it uh, faster or slower, rebound on suspension. It's a very interesting solution. Um, now you have <coughs> a lot of competition after this wheel. It's coming Sherman S, that's very interesting. Uh, have Commander Pro, it's like copy of Sherman S, Bigotti style. Then Bigotti that a uh, uh, lot of new wheels with suspension like EX20, EX30, it's very powerful, wide, wide rim wheel. <coughs> then we have Master X and Master Pro. Uh, Master X is with smaller battery, but Master Pro is uh, 4,800 watt hour battery. It's, it's the biggest of them all. <coughs> like, it's big body answer to V13. Another huge wheel. Master Pro and V13, it's um, 22 inch wheel. Master X2 is 22 inch, you know, the. <coughs> bigger suspension wheel you also have um, monster pro with 24 inch without suspension uh, even with less battery so you see it's like all this line this is the future of electric unicycles so many suspensions will to to choose now from T4 that coming uh, from from Big Audi. It's the smallest suspension wheel on the market today. <laughs> it's very difficult to, to making to make a small suspension wheels because of suspension is so takes so many big place and, and uh, uh, weighs a lot. So I like this uh, smallest one with suspension, you know, it's, uh, it's really easy to ride, in, convenient to ride in the city, just to get away. <coughs> the bigger wheels, uh, you know, it's more like cruisers. Um, even for off-road, you don't need, it's difficult to, to manage big weight in the in the in the forest 
you know, on, on some great adventure. If something happened with your wheel, you have to abandon it. You cannot bring it with you if, if wheel is dead, you know. Ask Marty what is happening with his Sharmas. You need a crown to, to, to bring it home from, from your long range adventure. So uh, I think most wheels in the middle, like um, 30, 35, up to 40 kilos weight is still manageable. The last weight, the light uh, wheel you have, the more interesting to, to use it every day, you know, in, in cities and um, where you live for commuting or for, for just have a fun. It's great fun with, with suspension, but it's more, it's more hustle with, uh, you have to, to, to repair it. You have to, to refill the air and um, um, check the oil and so on. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. It will take more more time for your uh, hobby to service wheels and uh, maintain everything. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.